As much as the arts can be a passion, they're also an industry. And like everyone else, artists have to make a living. If you're fascinated by the dance style seen in Indian movies, then the Bollywood Dance Junction offers pretty much everything, from classes to performances. And it's keeping the creative director, Chetna Shivdasani, pretty busy. Let's meet her and the dancers. A junction is a point where two or more things connect. And this encapsulates the concept of the Bollywood Dance Junction. This is the realization of a dream for Chetna Shivdasani, who is the creative director and choreographer of the school. She and her students and performers tap into the classical and folk dance roots of the broader Bollywood style, combining these with Latin passion and hip-hop energy. These dynamic young performers are contributing to the artistic life of the local stage and Josie inner city. Today I'm in Newtown to get to know Bollywood Dance Junction, a school that represents the melting pot of cultures in South Africa perfectly. Chitna, tell me a little bit about how you got into dance. Yeah, I started dancing at a young age at about seven. I started studying ballet and thereafter I started doing hip-hop dancing, I did a little bit of kata and then some ballroom dancing as well. And thereafter I went to London, taught Bollywood dancing at the Pineapple Studios in London. And then I kind of brought that concept back to South Africa. How did Bollywood Dance Junction come about? In London, people of different cultures would come through to enjoy Bollywood dance. Whereas in South Africa, you know, you generally get just Indian people dancing to Bollywood. So I thought, you know, let me try and bring that concept to South Africa. And that's when I started Bollywood Dance Junction. What makes it so special? I bring in artists with their own unique style doing Bollywood dance. So I work with amazing choreographers and we work together as a team to create some interesting performance and kind of just celebrate our diversity. So we're here in Newtown. What are we up to today? We thought we'll start with a hip hop component in Bollywood, which plays, brings to Bollywood Dance Junction. And we thought let's do it within Newtown. Very gritty environment, graffiti in the background, and we can use that to showcase within our platform. It's been amazing working with plays. We come up with really amazing stuff. A rising star on the contemporary scene, Joburg born Blazon Lovu began his dance career in his teenage years and is now a fully fledged professional performer and choreographer. In addition to working with major artists such as Neo and Tufan, he's performed at events such as the Samas, Metros, and South African Sports Pop Awards. The with the four, four, it was one, two, three, and four. When the thing went quack, 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 I track, track, track on the road. The thing goes. And a poop, 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 boom. 24 years old, still really, really young, but you have so much experience in the industry. How did you get into dance? I started at a very tender young age of five, and then I grew into dancing. I used to watch TV, like The Worst Lives, your InSync, and then I would imitate the moves there as you know the show is playing. And then I, I started taking it professionally at the age of 16. And how I got into it, I started taking videos of myself dancing. I said, you know what? I believe that I can do this. And then I said, it makes me happy. It brings my spirit to life. So is that how you ended up meeting international artists like Neo? There's this dance company called Choreo Creatives. They take like the best dancers from each and every crew. So I was fortunate enough to be selected as one of those people. And then yes, um, we got to do shows like the Mamas, the Summers, the Metros, and all of that. How do you bring different South African cultures through in your dancing? Dance is one universal language. So as dancers, before we even start speaking or whatsoever, we all have a meeting line because we are dancers. We're already speaking a language. It's awesome because everybody has a different style. Bangra, you get spuchwa, you get hip hop, but then at the end of the day, within every dance style, there's certain moves that basically link because of that one universal language. So there's that meeting line. Long before a show reaches the stage, every move of a dance sequence must be mapped out and practiced. And choreographer and performer Yashka Singh is satisfied with nothing less than the excellence achieved in the movies. Yashka, how did you get into dancing? I think it all started when my dad used to buy those Bollywood movie song DVDs for me and I'd roll them in the lounge and for a little while I'd watch the people on TV and I'd want to be like them so I'd copy their dance moves and eventually I started just dancing myself. Would you recommend that people go to formal dance school? First and foremost, dance is about how you feel about it and the energy that you have to dance. 
But when you go to a class, you get to learn new techniques from a teacher who can help you refine your skills. But more importantly, you meet a family. You get to support each other through dancing. You get to support each other through all the many tens hours of practice that you're doing. And I think that's something that you can't get anywhere else. Now, of course, with that, you've worked with some of South Africa's greatest musicians. Tell me about some of the music videos you've done. We did a music video for Heavy K, who is the drum boss, who is one of the best artists in South African house. And I think what was really amazing about that is how easily the style of dance that we did merged with the music. What makes Bollywood Dance Junction so special? We aren't afraid to try new things. We aren't afraid to cross the boundaries of dance. A lot of times people like to keep things very traditional and stick to one art, but I feel like with globalization, it's important to involve as many things because you come up with something even more beautiful at the end. And I think very few Bollywood dance schools are ready to go and just let everything loose. I wanna see you, I wanna see you, I wanna see you Why like Rihanna, get all up on the hum Diggy diggy bum bum She burn it up like the summer She turn me on with her bum Diggy diggy bum bum Diggy I'm like crazy And she's so crazy Diggy diggy bum bum there's more than an ocean separating Joburg from Mumbai, but that's just geography. Because the spirit of Bollywood and the energy of urban Africa have found common ground in the dances of BDJ. 